hi there and welcome back it's Tanya from Tutty Treasures hello <laughs> if you're new then hello and if you are returning hello um yeah now what oh hello <laughs> sorry oh my goodness me cut um so I'm back to do um the Tutty Treasure and Friends Challenge. The lovely Justine at House of Mahalo is this month's uh, challenge host. And um, she's come up with a challenge and the way it's gonna, gonna run. And her video was yesterday. I will link um, that in my description if you've not um, caught that or if you don't follow her. Um, all my mods and admins um, links are in the description and they're all going to be having a certain day uh, where where they take part in the challenge and each month we'll all get a go at being the host. So I might even throw it out there later in the year, anybody who's got um, a YouTube channel, did they want to do uh, the month? Especially, if, you know, if you've got involved in in the other months and, and you kind of know um, how we run them and stuff, then yeah, I might might open it up. That's a good idea. I've just thought of that. Quick, get me planner out. In fact, I'm going to write that down because that is an actual uh, good good idea. I mean, I could even do a draw, couldn't I? Um, and and pick somebody somebody out. Um, another channel to host challenge yeah i do like that good thinking tanya right um so let's um well first let's let's light the candle we're still on the rich mahogany and it's beautiful and it's um i don't think it'll be long before i keep saying that it's not going to be long before it's gone and we can have a new one so we shall pop that there while i waffle and it is January the 4th. Never mistake knowledge for wisdom. One makes you, one helps you make a living and another helps you make a life. Let me read that again. Never mistake knowledge for wisdom. One helps you make a living and another helps you make a life. Never mistake knowledge for wisdom. One helps you make a living. Wisdom. No, knowledge helps you make a living, wisdom helps you make a life. That's very powerful, I like that. You know, I don't know if I'm going to just save this and just do it, you know, use it next year. Or if I'm, I might use these in a journal uh, next year, that'd be fab. Uh, this is fabulous, I'm so glad um, my auntie bought it, me. So that's that, so let me... Um, I'm going to read what Justine printed off because she went to the time of um, typing it out and stuff. So here we go. Tatty Treasure and Friends Facebook Challenge, January. Let's start this year off strong and get on top of our to finish or to make piles and let's have some fun. So the theme is finishing the unfinished. Um, if you want to be, you know, you can join in, just do one project but this is more you know if you want to be in the actual challenge which um is a prize draw and um, so finish a minimum of two projects in january they can be big projects little ones or a mixture of the two share your photos or videos each week on the um correct thread to be entered into the giveaway this starts on the 3rd of January and it ends on the 5th of February. This is when you will need to get your uh, last photos or videos in to be in the giveaway. The giveaway announcer, it will be announced on the 7th of February. So ideas of what to finish off. So it could just be you've made a load of bases and you just need to decorate them. They could be unfinished journals. They could be journals what actually just need a book plate on or a tie around them. Um, um, if you've got a master board laying around and it's not doing anything, get it cut up and get some ephemera made. 
uh, even if you've got a kit already printed out and you've not yet used it so anything um you know there's really yeah just just do something <laughs> and get it finished <laughs> and each week you know if you're doing one big project say you've got half a journal and you're thinking well i can't do that in in one week just take photos of that week you know what what you've done that week nobody's you know i'm not going to be placing uh, the photos as long as it you know looks as if you've um joined in so every monday she will just do more post a thread in the group asking you to share your photos or video on the thread for that week so she'll do that in week one week two week three week four anyone that joins in and who's got photographs or videos in each of the threads will then go in the prize draw your name will go into my my teapot tanya's teapot for random pick out and any questions it says to let justine know so i I'm, I'm really not one who doesn't finish uh projects i find it difficult not finishing um i can rush the end to finish um but up to yet, yeah, I've never really lost my um, mojo. Um, I've never lost like that creative or what can I make, what can I make, uh, what can I do. Um, the only time I've seen was when I lost my mum uh, and through being uh, depressed and, and things, I was too poorly. Um, and my mind couldn't even think but even then I wouldn't say I lost my mojo or what you know I wasn't very well um so I have always finished things um I did just finish up the chubby dabby doodle folio which I was doing uh you know as my mum passed away um so I've got that finished off the only other projects I've got what need finishing off are these so <coughs> Um, I started last January making this Edith Holden uh, book of tags for the year and I got to September and that's when, um, you know, I got poorly. So I've not finished those off. <clears throat> In all the other months, you know, I've wrote about the months and things like that. Um... I don't want to write in in the rest of them. I may go back at the end of this year writing them, but you know, um, I just want to finish them. So, so I've finished them. So, I've just got three tags to make. I've got no November, uh, December. Um, you know, and I'd only got a few pieces of Edith holding left. I do need to buy some uh, books. So I am just going to get them finished um, and then it, it's finished. We're in January now. I can hang it up, which, you know, that's what I wanted to do. Have it hung up um, each month so, so I can look at it. And I don't even think I'm going to look in what inside what I wrote. Um, it's, yeah, it, it's too too soon. But I, do, I want to finish it off. Um, you know, I don't want it just sitting about getting... Uh, ruined so that's one of the projects um another one is i did these in the roxy uh challenge and i can't remember uh what it uh which one it was but um <clears throat> these are obviously old books i'd made some book plates uh before and this was something that i'd seen from susan taylor brown who is poppiness uh, so I'd already made these and I thought, oh, they'll be ideal to go uh, on the front of books. And I think Roxy's challenge was, you know, to to make a cover out of a out of an old book, which which I did. Um and I've not finished it because I've never done one before. Uh so that stopped me from from doing it because it's like, well, what what next? <laughs> what do I do? So yeah, I've not finished those off and the same with this. Um, and I think I'm guessing that this needs um, covering even more so. But yeah, that's that's as far as I got. And then I was like, well, I don't I don't know what to do now. So I do think 
for a lot of us, that's probably the main reason why why we stop. If we've not lost his mojo, or if we've not gone into, um, oh, what's the expression? Um, oh, what's the expression? Where well, you just go off, um, you know, you see something else at squirrel. <laughs> um, and you see something else and it's like you put down what you're doing and you're on to the next thing. So if it's not for that reason or not because you've lost your mojo um, or you've sometimes you just run out of steam and energy uh, for that project and you just need to put it on the side for a few weeks and you go back, you know, you go back to it. I think probably a lot of people stop at a certain point because it's like, well, I've got this, now what do I do? And this is, you know, what stopped stopped me from uh, carrying on with these. Um, I'm thinking I'm going to put... I don't know, I'm thinking like three really tiny signatures and signatures I mean probably two pages in, in each one um, and sew them in but I don't know if I should sew them in or try a hidden spine. I've never done a hidden spine, I've never sewn through hardback. So that's what I'm thinking of doing with those um, and I've got lots of botanical embellishments and stuff so um, yeah, I'm thinking we can get some pages in, embellish them, put some lace down here, which makes me think I probably will sew through through there. And then that will get me through the thing of, well, I have done a hard back, uh, and then I might be able to think about doing a, a hidden spine. Now, <clears throat> this one is obviously a lot bigger project, and um, like I say, I do think... I think I maybe need to build this up somehow a bit more, like put another layer in, and then, I don't know. I don't know. And again, I would probably sew it in. This is going to make a really nice journal, but it's not very thick. So again, I think I would have three signatures, but <clears throat> probably only like four pages or, or something. So we'll see. These are my projects. I am going to work on these for the month of January. So just to get in into it, I'm thinking let's get, get these done so I can get them hung up in my room. I can stop thinking, oh my goodness, I don't want to write in them and people are, are going to, you know, because obviously people have been following it and, and stuff and I, I feel like, you know, I've kind of... Um, let you down by by not continuing but you know I, I don't think anybody's going to be saying oh I can't believe that you didn't carry on writing through them because you know I, I could put in there that uh, for that for that month you know I was uh, really depressed and and was in bed it, I've I'm not embarrassed um at, at all it's um I don't think I need to put that to to remind myself uh, what what I was doing. Uh, whereas you know, on other months when I've perhaps gone somewhere or done something, I would have forgot that. Uh, but you know, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna forget <laughs> forget that. So yeah, let, let's just get it done, and then I can I can move on. I finish uh, the series and. Um, because that's another thing, because it was a series and it's just suddenly ended, it's like, oh, because uh, I'm even contemplating, you know, oh, I might just delete delete the whole series and pretend it never happened kind of um, thing, which which is a shame. Because, um, yeah, they're, they're really pretty, pretty tags and it was, an, you know, it was a nice, a nice idea. And, um, you know, this could be a way that... Um, you'll have seen well if you're watching them that we're doing uh the planning you know we're dipping his toe in with planning um this might be a way that that you want to do um your planning because you know you've got one two three sides in some of them i've put little uh tucks inside and and stuff um you could definitely keep it as a as a diary um you know, obviously not if you're really busy and doing lots of things, but uh, for for a little memory uh, keeper, I think these are, are ideal. And if, um, you know, if you've got books that 
that you really like that you might not ever get again but you've bought them to actually use them um why not make them because then you know when you've got it hanging up uh somewhere and you're actually getting to look at it every day rather than it gathering dust in it on your bookshelf um it's a lot it's a lot better fourth i've got a lot of waffle haven't i it's because um yeah well you know so did I ink inside that other one because I felt like I did that second one very very uh, quickly so you'll have to let me know if you are joining in and um, what your un unfinished projects are and you've got a cupboard full of them <laughs> or are you you know more like me that, that you do try and get everything finished off uh, until you either get totally stuck or totally run out of steam so that's them all linked so if you've not seen this before and you do want to see you know i already did the other months and that then there is a playlist so um go back and have a look at have a look at that I'm trying to work out what month will be so that's october so what month did we get to? Oh, come on, Tanya. September. So we'll do this as October. So I've got my um my acetate, which um that's lovely that. Which I just drew around uh, one of the tags. Just made uh these, you know folded them in half, chop, chop, and then uh, put some acetate on top, drew round it with a sharpie, uh, because then you can see the outline, which makes it a lot easier for, oh, where does it, where does it end? And then I just pop it on top, and, yeah, just draw around, as a, best I can <laughs> oh my goodness Tanya okay that's that one so we'll do that in September no October November think I think I like that best that's that gets the most of the the leaves and what I mean some people might hate this picture but I actually like it because <laughs> I really love it when you go for a walk um you know that time of year when the leaves are falling and there's a bit of wind and all of a sudden um you know all the trees will, will start raining leaves it, it's well, I think it's quite magical. So that reminds me of of, of that, and that's why I, I do like this picture. But I suppose if if you've you know not got that memory, you just think, oh, they they're just dead dead leaves. Who wants to who wants to look at dead leaves? But um, I love them. <laughs> it's just the kind of person I am. Right, this is going to be a little bit. I think. That's probably going to be be about right. Yeah. I'll say it is difficult to to draw around it because it is only thin, but it is a very good tool for um, using book pages to get the the best the best out of the the image as you as you can. Right, so that's that. I'm gonna save that there. 
because I do like this that size tag as well. So um, when I make some uh, tags, like when I cut um, some backs and stuff, um, I could use that and do do that as a template, and then if I'm covering it with a book page, I can then use it again. Oof, that hurt my head saying that, and I don't think I even explained it very well, but I tried. <laughs> I did try, honestly. So I hope everybody's doing doing okay. So um, Alma's back to school tomorrow. Is it tomorrow? I'm getting my days all all mixed mixed up um so i've got quite a lot of appointments and and things to do otherwise i would have been cleaning up this this week but um yeah i've got lots of things to to do uh so and i'm with it being in the beginning of the month and the beginning of the year i've obviously got lots of different new series as starting um, and it's not just the, the filming of them, it's obviously, you know, getting everything printed off for each of the projects, cutting it out, inking, um, sitting and actually thinking what the project is <laughs> and, um, you know, how it's gonna, gonna run. I kind of think of, you know, what, what order am I doing because I don't want to show every single you know the same part of it the process every, every time it's um so you know sometimes I'll start off where I've no papers even gathered and no ephemera so we've got to you know start from the very beginning or sometimes it'll be I've got ephemera so we need to build the book around it and so yeah kind of there's a lot of thinking and stuff so yeah I've been been quite quite busy and obviously give my room a tidy I've had a new one of these uh mats well a second one I had the one big one uh, and I had a smaller one but uh, I've had another big one so I've been able to like put everything what's on my desk further back to give me more more room so yeah i have to take everything off my desk and why i did that i obviously tidied through everything as i've been gathering um everything for the new uh projects because that's another thing so yeah go through everything you know go through your laces your ribbons um your kits yeah things what you've already made or other kits that you've still got ephemera from gather it all together and then you know you need to say do i need another kit uh, and then you go off and go on etsy and have a look for another kit and get lost on there and <laughs> forget what you're looking for um and things like that uh so yeah I've kind of, you know, tidied, gathered and um, reordered things and, you know, stocked up on things and beginning of the year kind of things. Um, you know, if I don't look what paper pads I've, I've got. Because um, I'm not a big hoarder at all, but I do like things to sit for so long. Um I like to look at them, I like to touch them, I like to think about them, um, you know, think about what I'm going to do with them, um, and just have pleasure in, um, like, the possibility. Um, but after about six months, um, it took me a year to cut my first Edith Holden up, um, and then I'm ready, you know, it's like, then I think, well, I've had it that long um now i can you know do something with it and um let somebody else have the have the pleasure um of it so that is a that one so yeah i've got a few few kits um 
like Denise bought me one. I think Susan um, had bought me one. Um, I think I've had a couple more uh, sent, but I've got um, the Graphic 45 Woodland Friends. And I've, no, yeah. And I've got the stamp area. Um, is it Forest one? And I've got a Chiabella uh, Foresty one. So, yeah, I'll kind of let them sit. And, um, you know, the different kinds of, of of pads than, you know, your regular what you buy and the kind of backing papers. And with those backing papers, you make tags and pockets. Well, these, you know, they're, they're made for scrapbooking, aren't they? That you use the whole sheet um, as, like, your backdrop. So... Um, I've I've never used those kinds of uh, papers, so that's obviously another reason why I've not wanted to rush in because I needed to get to the the point where um, I'm making you know actual journals and and stuff. You know, I'm not gonna just cut the pad a bit apart just to make uh, myself a little a little pocket. Uh, obviously, I'd make a pocket with scraps what was left but uh yeah it's not that kind of um that kind of them kinds of pads so yeah i think again <laughs> until till you're ready uh, and sometimes that's because you don't know know enough yet um and i do like to think about things for, for so long and for me you know that's part of part of the enjoyment and and then I get the papers out you know look through them and look at the colours and think about what would go with them and yeah it makes me excited so yeah you know I, I love it I love looking at all the colours and and things and I've just found some really nice um ribbon to go with that uh, woodland friends Okay, and I think sometimes if you rush into things, you've already used it. Um, so yeah, sometimes I like to just have things, and and when things pop up, and I think yes, I definitely go with with such. And you can be gathering for something for for a while, can't you? I suppose it's same as if you're doing, I don't know, like a sewing journal or something. You're not just gonna fall on things that you need there and then the things that you know you're going to come across in charity shops or uh, yard sales is it um and that kind of thing so yeah it's like yeah um i don't know i was going to say like hibernation but i don't know if that would be the the right kind of the right word so like in preparation of hibernation i think that's, yeah, gathering, isn't it? Oh, I'm just talking absolute, absolute rubbish now. I feel delirious. Right. Um, so, December, I don't have a thingy for. That's going to be my October, which I think I'm going to put there. I'm going to put the November there. Yeah. I like them. Then I'm going to put some holes in. Um, and we'll put some seam binding on and we'll just put them in and then like I said I can just move you know move on oh I feel so much better I'm gonna say I, it does bother me things that <clears throat> that I've not done um so yeah for me own sanitate and somebody new did stumble across the the channel couple of weeks ago and said oh did you not put put the rest of it in like it in the playlist and I thought oh gosh you know how many more people have have come across it and I thought oh, how come it suddenly suddenly starts I mean I know you know people who watch me regularly will will know will know but um you know a lot of your videos get get viewed by um quite random people i bet they wonder what on earth uh we're on about when they just stumble on us and we just absolutely talk a load of waffle no wonder they don't subscribe no wonder they don't stay <laughs> they just like these women are crazy <laughs> 
there's no uh, tape measure in sight. There's not, they ain't got them. Well, me, stop talking generally. Let's talk about yourself. Uh, yeah, I've not got a mat. I've got no ruler out. Like, <laughs> just talking waffle. Yeah. So, <clears throat> especially if they're looking for something what's, um, you know, not really. If they're not even seen junk chain up before. Oh, actually, that's that, that ribbon. And that will go uh, with that Woodland Friends Perfect. And I bought that one as well. So, yeah, I just came came across that. And sometimes you don't, um, it tends to be, doesn't it, to, to just stumble. Stumble. Because I don't do that much. I mean, I do a fair bit of searching round for, for things. Um... But, um, yeah, I normally just stumble. So, I'm going to have that for one of them. That's probably a bit for that one. Is that the same? That's already cut, so we'll use that one. Oh, shall we have some glitter? Oh, that's already cut. Oh, that worked out <laughs> pretty, pretty well. So, that's that. <clears throat> so, um, I want some eyelity things. Right, I think these are going to want a, a touch of glue on. I think I must have probably had them about two years now. Um, the... I do forget that I've got them and they do come in very handy. I don't use them that often. Uh but yeah, they're very they're very handy just for oh I need I need a doobie do uh eyelet reinforcer. I'm sure you all knew what I was on about when I said doobie do. Be just the new person who stumbled across you, who are going to be like, doobie do. What does this woman mean? So, yeah. But I think obviously the more you watch people, it's um, it's like a continuation of the story, isn't it? It's, um, you know, if I suddenly said, oh, Eleanor, and if you didn't know me, you'd be thinking, well, who is Eleanor? But, um, you know, when you've watched somebody and you know uh, who the people are. You know, if I mention Colin and then uh, he starts barking and people think I was actually on about, you know, my husband. <laughs> God, oh, I wish Colin would be quiet. And <laughs> Colin starts barking in the background and they'll be thinking, mm, what a weird woman she is. So, so yes. It, and it makes it easier for, for conversation. Um because you know i'm i'm all about the conversation i obviously love crafting love it i love showing you what i'm doing but and i, I you know i love doing tutorials but i i'm more here for the, i'm more here for the chat i like a chat and if you like a chat then it's it's all nice you know, I didn't do it this way. What I did do it, did I? Yes, what I did do is I just put it through the first one so that you could open open it up. And then because they're on the ring, it keeps them closed anyway. Okay, so that's that one. Oh, this nightmare normally this is, isn't it, to undo. I might cut it. I'm going to cut it. Life's too short <laughs> to be having an argument with that. So, now I have cut it, I'm actually going to put it in double to make it a bit more, a bit more chunky. Yeah, Beautiful wool this is. I don't know where I got this one from. It's very real chocolate brown with like a copper 
uh, glitter running through. It's very, very nice. I mean, I love sparkle, but it, it's got to be, to me, that's a natural sparkle. That's that's the sun catching, um, you know, a leaf or something. Um, it, it's not bling bling. It's, yeah, I, I really like that. I don't think I've got any more of that left. Yeah, it's beautiful. I shall have to be thinking about that when I <laughs> fall on these searches that, that I apparently do. But yeah, it's not very often I actually look on <coughs> on Etsy, really. Uh, but then when, you know, when I do, I'm hours. So October, November, December. So let's put these these on. So I hope you wasn't too disappointed by by the end of it. Um, like I say, I just I wanted to get it finished. It was too nice a project uh, to not finish it. So, but too painful really to you know go into detail with it. So for now, it is what it is, and it's it's done. So I would definitely want to make one of these again. Yeah, so let's go back on to January. And now, oh, I'm on February. <laughs> Jumping a month. I don't want to jump any months, thank you. I'm quite fine with being in January at the beginning. So that's that. I'm going to <coughs> get some string <coughs> and give it a bit of a tie. And I need somewhere to, to hang it. I'll leave that open so when I find something to hang it, um, I can tie it. So, thank you so much for joining me and thank you for being here. And, you know, I know some of you will be sending, um, you know, love and, and prayers for me. And, you know, I, I, I really do feel um, them and, yeah, it, it spurs me on. So, thank you. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, so that's it that is my first unfinished project so next week when we come back and <laughs> do them books they are going to be very i've not got a clue because i haven't and i'm not going to pretend that i have because i haven't it's something that i've never done so i might do it and it might be a total it might be a total mess but if i don't do it um i'm never going to start doing it am i so gosh that was <laughs> i'm going See you in the next video. Bye.